Hello guys, this is Joe Forbes here at Trail Sport Motors. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to properly change the oil in a GC1K. So first you want to start off by letting the warm up, our machine warm up. I normally let them get to about 160, 170 degrees. So not full operating temperature, but enough to where all the oil in the motor's hot. And then if you come right up underneath here, you got two plugs here. You want to leave the Allen head alone. You always want to take the hex head out. It's a 17 millimeter. So now we're gonna go through um, how to get the oil filter out of it. It's a cartridge style filter, so it's located inside the engine, right here. Okay, so your oil filter's located in here. This is your oil filter housing. What I always do first is you take these uh, clips here, you move both of them right out of the way, um, that way you can move both of these hoses. So this one you just put uh, up tight to that plug there. And this one you just kind of move out of the way like that. This is your throttle cable here. And then you take this clip, push it back forward like that. So then you can get in here to the three bolts. So after removing the oil filter housing, make sure that you remove your old gasket, that way you don't have two. Um, 10 times out of 10, they always get stuck on the motor. I've never had one stick to the outer cover, but just check both sides. Um, it's a real thin um, metal gasket that goes in between the outer cover and the motor case. Okay, so now we're gonna cover installation of the uh, oil filter itself and then the cover and gasket. So when you get in here with your oil filter, once you have it in the slot, you're gonna feel it bottom out. And uh, as long as it's centered in the hole, you're gonna wanna give it just a little push. You'll see it go in farther and seat all the way. And then on the oil filter cover, I always just put a little bit of grease on the outside to hold my gasket in place. That way all my bolt holes line up. You don't need a lot on there, but a little bit goes a long way. For tightening these up, I just use a quarter inch ratchet, six inch extension, and a deep ball socket. And you wanna get in here and then as soon as the bolt face snugs up to the oil filter housing, just give it a little snug. You don't have to crank these down and do not use power tools because the case material is soft and you'll strip them right out. So now that your oil filter housing is installed properly, you're gonna wanna put your hoses back where they were before and uh, do the top one first, just push it in there and then grab that bottom one and you wanna make sure that the edge of that clip loops around that uh, vent line so you don't have any uh, burning issues on your head plate. So nature of the beast, uh, right below the oil filter housings, your water pump housing. Um, what I do is I just use uh, your you know standard, some brake clean and a couple of rags. Um, once I get it out from under there, I'll show you our oil catch pan. That way I don't make a huge mess in the skid plate and you don't have to remove the skid plate. Um, but what I do is I just like to go up top. If you aim your nozzle um, it right in between the case half and the oil, oil filter housing right there, there's actually a slot right there that's gonna hold oil. So it's best to get all that stuff out of there and then just spray on the top of the uh, water pump housing until you see no oil on there and then give it a good bottom wipe. So around the shop here, I always keep a bunch of uh, old used rags, you know, from wiping the uh, hands, you know, grease off stuff or whatnot. Um, I line a, I cut a quart and about a quarter uh, up and downs, leave the cap here intact. Um, this goes right underneath the oil filter housing is right here. You stick this right underneath that and the water pump housing catches all the oil in here. The rag soaks it. You can pull it right out from underneath in the machine and um, makes cleanup pretty easy. Thank you. 
So after removing your dipstick, you're gonna take two quarts of your preferred 40 weight oil and uh, fill her back up. We uh, use Bendy Funnel, it's the best. You can fill it right from the seat. So um, you can run you, you know, your preferred uh, 40 weight oil. We prefer Send Blend from Maxima on um, thousand mile interval oil changes. Uh, if you treat your motor right and let it warm up, you know, not uh, start stops, you know, short cycles, uh, this oil is great. Um, We've had great luck with it, absolutely no issues at all. Um, it's a good formula, and um, that's what we've been running these since day one. So after you have two quarts of your Maxima 10W40 in there, you're gonna wanna start your machine and um, you know let it idle you know, no more than a minute. It doesn't need to you know, run that long. It just needs to soak the oil filter and get the oil circulated and then let it rest for a full minute and then uh, we'll show you how to check it properly. So now that the end has been resting for about a full minute, we're gonna go ahead, unthread the dipstick here. We're gonna give it a wipe. So you can get an accurate reading. We're gonna thread it all the way back in. When you pull it back out, keep it nice and flat. You should be right in the middle of the cross hatches there, right where we're at. Perfect. Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, watch me change oil here on a GC1K. Any questions at all, give us a call at 810-656-9347 or visit IntimidatorUTBCentral.com for any of your oil change or maintenance needs.